Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back with another Forza Horizon 5, I meant 4 video. Well, yeah, Forza Horizon 5 is out, but <laughs> sadly only for premium or what, whatever the expensive one's called. Um, so yeah, it's out today on Friday and my cheap version is out on uh, Tuesday and luckily I have exams <laughs> on Tuesday, so... That's pretty convenient, but yeah, I'm going to try and be recording next week, Forza 5. But anyway, let's just get right into it. I'm going to be ricing out a Bugatti Veyron because I have nothing better to do and I have a lot of money to spend. Also, this car sounds so good. I don't know if you can hear it, but listen to this. Judging by what I saw in the auction house, they don't sell for any cheaper in the auction house so i think i'm just gonna have to buy the full price which actually sucks um i think the og price is 2.2 mil yeah no i i just have to buy it i i don't know why it hurts me i have 111 million but anyway yeah uh bugatti veyron oh god <laughs> oh this is a big purchase mamma mia let's see ah oh. Nah, I wouldn't rice this car out. I'd rather go with colors. Oh, that looks so clean. Wow. Well, it won't look clean for long, but... Oh, wow. That's on... Oh, my God. 2.2 2 million. 2... Oh, my God. 2.2. 2. I, I swear if they make this car free next season or something, I'm actually going to cry, but yeah. Ah! <laughs> By the way, if you don't know, I'm one of those people that holds on to my money forever and never has fun with it. So, you know, I'm stepping out of my boundaries, out of my comfort zone here. But yeah, I want to try this car stock because this seems to have really quick acceleration. I saw it on a video the other day. It seems to be hella quick. Also, it's like literally one or two in the morning. I don't know why I'm recording so late. I wanted to record like three hours ago. But yeah, let's try this thing out. Let's do a little launch control action. Okay, I don't think I've done it right. Okay, it picks up. It picks up quite decent. Oh my god, that wing is worth literally everything. Yo, the handling's decent. What? Yo, look at this thing. Ah, uh, the air brake only works at like 500 miles per hour, but... Oh god, there's no handling. This thing's so cool. Oh my god. I really want to watch this acceleration. I don't know why I didn't just buy the Chiron, to be fair. I mean, that's literally only 200k more. And it has like 300 horsepower more. Anyway. I just want to see that wing lift once more. Come on. God damn it, this is that. Oh my god, yes. And the air brake. That's so sick. But sadly, the theme of this video is to rice this car out why am i doing this i literally actually genuinely don't know wait like real talk i actually don't know why i'm doing this i could have done something completely normal I, I and i'm not the type of person that rice out my car so i really don't know why i'm doing this but yeah um say i just have to go full pink ah uh, yeah that doesn't look good at least if it had black wheels okay the bonnet can't be painted Okay, that can't be painted. Wait, why is the wing still black? That looks kind of weird. Um, Should I get something completely ridiculous? Like blue. Just for no reason. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I'm actually having regret. Okay, now for the upgrades and tuning. The exciting part of all of this. Let's see, drivetrain swap. I'm not going to bother with that because I'm just trying to rice it out. Oh, yes. Let's go. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> that literally ruins the whole air brake thing. And hold up. Side skirts. Wait, what? Oh, whoa. Um, I think I prefer the blue because I'm going for a pink and blue theme. Now, this part I'm pretty excited for. Because I can make this completely ridiculous. Um, I'll leave that stock. I 
wonder, can I make it like, can I make the wheel smaller or something? Um, actually, I can't. Oh, that sucks. Oh, what do I even do with this thing then? What, what do I do? Is this gonna be it? Is that all? I mean, God damn, this has so much upgrades. What? Yo, how much horsepower does this thing go to? Do I even try? I, oh no, L let's just install this, see what happens. So I added weight and I added lateral G's and I somehow added class, I guess from the wing. But yeah, let's just see how this looks on the road. This is a pretty pointless video. I actually don't know why I'm doing this. I swear it feels slower now. I must just be tripping. Oh, look at that drift. Oh. All right, let's let, let's see what time it gets and maybe I'll try and upgrade the time. See how fast I can make this car. Oh, I love the fast loading times on this new console. Right. Yeah, let's go. I should wreck the competition. With my police light bar. <laughs> oh, do decent. Nah, how's a Lego car beating me? That's just unfair. What? Oh, it's a Lego Chiron as well. Just to insult me spending so much on this car. I think I might try some fun stuff with it, actually. I think I might build it for, like, different things. Let's see. Okay, I've had some more ideas. I'm going to stop with the whole rising thing. And I'm actually going to try and make this a drag build and a track build and all that. Just to have fun. Pushing the Veyron to the limits. So, this will be quite interesting. So, conversion, I'll keep it like that. Aero, I'll keep it like that. I'll go for the track stuff now. So, tire compound, uh... Mm. Yeah, I think I like the clean, sleek look more. Uh, should I change this? Oh, wow. Okay, I won't change it for now. Uh, maybe I could save some weight. Uh, oh, God. Let's not even bother with that. Um, track weight. Oh, wow. That costs a lot. What? I don't think I need that. I think I'll keep it like this. Um, actually, I'll take the light bar off. Um, did I mess around with this? I guess I'll give it a race transmission and a race clutch. How are we at 15k? I literally done nothing. All right. Um, does this actually do anything? We will never know. That's a lot of weight, but luckily we're going to take... Oh my god, 700 pounds. Jesus. Let's see how much power we can add. Oh, let's go. Another 12. Oh my god, that is 90 horsepower right there. Another 11. Oh my god, another 100. We just added... Wait. Twi twin turbo. Is this a... Uh... Does this have six turbos now? Nah, what? <laughs> what? Excuse me? Okay, we have a six turbo Bugatti Veyron, I think. I might make that the title, just the clickbait stuff. Let's see what changed. Oh my god, we shed a lot of weight. And it's basically a Chiron, but like half a ton lighter or something. What? And it's cheaper than a Chiron overall. It's like 2.25 million with the upgrades. So... I might have found a way for y'all to save money. That might be the title as well. Maybe I should click it. Anyway, yeah, let's take this on the track. Oh, oh my god. This has no grip somehow. How does a Veyron have no grip? Let's see the handling. It's alright. Yeah, let, let, let's find a track. Alright, let's do this. My drag. I meant my race Veyron. Oh, look at this launch. I'm literally overtaking everyone. I'm sure I can afford to break late. Oh, it's winter as well. What's this Koenigsegg do? Nah, I'm going to get first place. Watch this. I don't disappoint. Oh, 
Okay, this is actually decent, like. I'm actually keeping up. Usually the AI cards are like five times better than you and it's just unfair, but... Okay, they are better than me. It was a bit slow to pick up. I guess the six turbos didn't kick in yet. Oh, Jesus. Am I actually losing? I'm actually losing. This ain't even a joke. That got damn, it's fast though. But like still. Jesus, I break so early. I'm actually the worst race. I was literally looking at my speedometer. Kill me. Oh, this is sick. Why do I race better in interior view? What? Hold up. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I hear people saying they race better in interior view. I always thought it's like well easier to race in the exterior view because you see more. But yeah, I came fifth place. That's actually terrible. Well, this is going to end up being a pretty long video because now I'm going to do a drag build. So yeah, I'll keep that. For aero and appearance, I'll take all the stuff off so the car's more slippery. You know, more aerodynamic. I don't think there's much here, yeah. And uh, for this tire compound, I will go for drag tire compound. I'm just going to have all these random upgrades on my Veyron that I'll never even use. Because I'm probably going to keep this stock. Because honestly, with hypercars, I prefer leaving them stock. Because like, obviously, they're just beautiful they, the way they are. Um, I think this will have decent grip. I don't think I'm going to mess with the tire width or anything. Um yeah I'll, I'll keep all that stuff stuck except for the tires obviously uh we have all the stuff here a race drive line i guess um hmm maybe i maybe i don't need this i guess just for extra speed um yeah i have everything there i guess i'll miss some st stuff I'll mess with some stuff outside the track. So I've basically done nothing. But I. I removed 70 pounds of weight. And I guess I changed the tires. So. Should be a bunch better. So yeah. Let's get on the drag strip. One weird detail I noticed. Is that when you start the race. You like roll up to it. And then right away you launch again. Oh. I'm destroying. Oh my god. This is so fast. Oh my god. And it still has the wing. Maybe I should leave it maxed. Look at that. And I didn't even mess with the tuning or the tire pressure. 8.1. This thing's insane. Actually, maybe I, in Forza 5, I should try budget wheel spin builds and stuff. So that way I can't just go all out. Uh, why is it froze? That way I can't go all out and I have to, have to be smart with what I have. I might try that in Forza 5. And, um, is that it? I'm pretty sure that's it. A part two is coming to this video. I'm bringing another car and doing all the same tests with it. Can you guess what it is? I've mentioned it in this video. I think it's a bit too obvious. But yeah, what do y'all think of these Forza videos? Oh, oh, a Cadona. Oh, what the hell? Uh, uh, all right, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and all that. Comment down below on what videos you want to see next. And yeah, thanks for watching.